If you have diabetes or have been diagnosed with diabetes recently, you might be wondering what the blood glucose test is all about. Watch this video to find out what the test is and what is the meaning of all the results that you see. With India being the world capital of diabetes, it brings to our mind the blood glucose test which is a key player in the diabetes story. Most people have gone through this test, usually included in a panel of blood tests conducted in a pathology lab, which assists the doctor to diagnose a health condition. Here we present answers to some frequently asked questions regarding this blood glucose test. What are glucose and insulin? Glucose is the main source of energy for the body's cells, produced by the digestion of dietary carbohydrates and is transported by the blood to all parts of the body. Insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas, transfers extra glucose from the blood to muscle, fat and liver cells for storage. Changes in blood glucose levels are an indicator of abnormal digestion process. Is blood glucose test the same as blood sugar test? Yes, sugar is a general name for carbohydrates and glucose is a simple carbohydrate found in the blood. Hence the term sugar and glucose are used interchangeably. What are the normal levels of blood glucose? The normal blood glucose levels ranges between 80 to 120 mg per dl. Do blood glucose levels remain constant throughout the day? No. The levels are the lowest in the morning before any food is consumed and rise for 1 to 2 hours after meal. The average blood glucose is 90 mg per dl. What is the best time to assess blood glucose levels? It may be measured randomly any time in the day, in the morning before breakfast, after a meal, postprandial or a short time after the patient drinks an oral glucose solution that is the glucose tolerance test or the OGTT or GTT. What is fasting blood glucose or the FPG? Depending on the purpose of the test, the patient may be required to fast for 8 to 10 hours before the test. What is the purpose of the blood glucose test? This test is used to screen the blood for undetected health conditions like hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia, diagnose diabetes mellitus and monitor glucose levels in diabetics. What is hypoglycemia? It is a condition in which the blood glucose levels drop below the lower normal limit, 80 mg. Symptoms of hypoglycemia are lethargy, decrease in mental function, irritability, shakiness, weakness in the arm and or leg muscles, sweating and loss of consciousness. In severe cases, brain damage can also occur. What is hyperglycemia? It is a condition in which the blood glucose levels rise above the normal upper limit, which is 120 mg. While suppressed appetite is a short-term symptom, long-term symptoms include eye, kidney and nerve damage plus increased risk of heart disease. What is diabetes mellitus? Commonly referred to as diabetes, it's a persistent state of hyperglycemia. The blood glucose levels are high because the patient's body is unable to remove sugar from the blood and take it to fat, liver and muscle cells for storage. It is usually a long-term or chronic disease. The most common types of diabetes are type 1 and type 2. Also, a temporary state condition of gestational diabetes occurs during pregnancy. What is type 1 diabetes? This type is usually found in children or young adults. In it, the body produces low or no insulin and daily insulin injections are necessary. What is type 2 diabetes? This type, usually found in adults, is the predominant type and here the body is unable to use insulin correctly. Example, in overweight or obese people, the excess fat interferes with insulin function. What are the symptoms of diabetes? 
If left unchecked, diabetes may cause blurry vision, excess thirst, fatigue, hunger, frequent urination and weight loss. Long-term effects of uncontrolled diabetes are eye, kidney and nerve damage plus increased risk of heart disease. How often do diabetics need to monitor their glucose levels? Generally, once a month test is recommended, but the frequency varies depending on the type of diabetes, type of medication and lifestyle, controlling weight, blood pressure and lipid levels. The frequency may be higher in a new type 1 diabetics, up to 4 times per day and reduces once the diabetes has stabilized, fewer fluctuations in glucose levels. How often should blood glucose tests be done in non-diabetics? The recommendation for detecting potential diabetes conditions are In overweight children starting at age 10, every 2 years In overweight adults, BMI more than 25 Adults aged more than 45 years, every 3 years What is glycosylated hemoglobin or the GHB estimation? This refers to a lab test that assesses long term, that is over 6 to 8 weeks, change in average blood glucose levels. Is it possible to monitor blood glucose without visiting a pathology lab? Yes, a patient can self-monitor their blood glucose levels at home. A few drops of blood from a fingertip are collected on a strip and analyzed for glucose levels by a small device or a machine. The result is presented as a number on a low-high scale. Latest blood glucose monitors can also be attached to some smartphones which enable monitoring on the go. What are the differences between various blood glucose monitoring products? The monitoring products are often sold as complete kits containing test strips, lancets, lancing device and meter. In addition, individual components are also sold separately. Testing strips, on which blood drops are collected and give instant color-coded results. Lancets, sterile fine needles that painlessly puncture the skin to obtain a blood sample. Lancing device, a high-speed pen-like tool with multiple skin penetration depth options that prevent cuts. Meter, battery operated, gives a reading within 5 to 10 seconds, containing a coding chip with the ability to display and label results plus calculate averages and storage memory. How beneficial is self-monitoring of blood glucose levels? Some studies indicate that self-monitoring may reduce organ damage by up to 30% and death up to 50% in type 2 diabetes patients. Found our information useful? If you found that the video has helped you, please like. Tell us what you think about our videos. Please leave a comment. To watch our other videos, click here. For more such information related to your health, log on to health.india.com.